to my channel. Get excited because today we are trying for the first time ever a roller set in my hair. We've done perm rods before and I kind of finagled them a little bit. They can be a little bit difficult to use, especially if you're not used to using them on a regular basis. But these look foolproof. I found these on Amazon. They come with a little like clip attachment to hold everything in place. It just looks like it's going to be a lot more quick and easy to use. And I'm really excited to see how the results come out with this length and the shape. It's potentially gonna be really cute and I feel like it's gonna be giving holiday season vibes. So you know what, let's just go ahead and jump straight in. I'm gonna meet y'all over in the shower to get this wash going. All right, so today I wanna use fully black owned products because that's just the mood. And we're gonna kinda go through this wash part pretty quickly. I did still wanna show you guys what I am using though. So we are jumping straight in and starting out with shampoo. I am using two shampoos today. For the lengths of my hair, I'm going in with the Bread Beauty Supply Hair Wash. It smells like Fruit Loops, y'all, and it's so good. It's like a gentle, milky hair cleanser that is nice and hydrating, but offers a really good clean as well. Then after that, I'm actually gonna focus this Briogeo Scalp Revival Mega Strength Plus Dandruff Relief Shampoo directly more towards my scalp. I just feel like this week, I've been a little bit itchier back in the gym got some gym sweat in there So this is just an extra step I like to take to make sure my scalp is nice and extra clean happy and healthy And then I'm gonna treat my hair with the Mish strengthen protein and moisture balance deep conditioner I haven't used protein in my hair in the longest time so This is a perfect way to kind of like add a little bit of protein without like going overboard once it's fully applied I'm just gonna put my hair up let it sit while I finish up all my body care products Then after that I'll fully rinse it out and then we are ready to start styling honey. It's time to style. So I haven't done anything. I just fully rinsed out my hair in the shower and then left it to dry in this microfiber towel for probably about 10 minutes. So we're still a little bit damp, but it's not like soaking wet or anything, which is a good place to be in. I've been trying to figure out if I should do a blowout first, but I don't think I will. Honestly, I'm a little lazy today. So I'm not gonna do a blowout. We're just gonna do this on my natural curly hair and see how it turns out. Let's open these rollers up. There are a bunch of different sizes in here. So the blue is the smallest size. The next size up is yellow. And the next size up from that is this like mint green. So I'm just gonna start by sectioning out my hair. I don't even know how big to make these sections. I'm gonna section out at the different lengths that I have. All right, so the products I'm gonna use to style are First, I'm gonna use this Madam by CJ Walker Smooth and Sleek Heat Protectant Spray. Just a little bit, just a little bit for a little added protection because I am gonna use my blow dryer to kind of help this dry nice and quickly. And then I'm gonna style with this foam. Y'all have seen me use this in a wash and go, so I was curious to see how it would work for a roller set. For my wash and goes, this particularly dries so quick and it's really nice and moisturizing in my curls as well. So I figured it would be perfect for a roller set as well. So literally, we're just gonna dive right in. Let's just do this, Let, let's go. So spray a little bit of this. You know, for this being the shortest part of my hair, she's still pretty long. Like, we got length now. I'm gonna do like a half, like literally a half pump of mousse because I really don't think we need to do too much. All right, so I'm just gonna roll the end in and then we roll her right up, nice and easy. And then we just clip this part on top. And that's it. Look at how quick and easy that is. Oh my gosh, I love to curl out. So one down, a bunch more to go. I really like the clips that sit on top because it helps to really stretch the hair. Like, look at that. <laughs> I just feel so like, Genuinely, like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Just out here trying my best, and what is it? What's that TikTok? I do my best. All right, here we go. These are not perfect by any means. I, if trying a ting was a person, it's me right now with these roller sets, but. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going and see how this goes. So I'm gonna grab now my little hood dryer thing. Ugh. I'm trying to see if we can get this to dry in like 
less than an hour. Is that asking too much? I mean, I used mousse, so. This thing is so unattractive, but it gets the job done. So then I'm gonna take this end now and plug it into my blow dryer. Is that on properly? I think so. All right, and then we just turn her on. I'm actually probably gonna go set this up at my bed and spend about, I mean, as long as I need to for this to be fully dry. And then I'll be back to show you all the final results. All right, so I let this dry a little extra long. Um, the sun has now set, it's like the end of the day now. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take these out, but I'm not gonna fully actually unravel them until tomorrow, but I'm not sleeping with these in my head. Absolutely not, because I won't be able to sleep. So. I'm gonna take them out, but then like secure them with some bobby pins so that we can have a good night's sleep because this is not it. She's actually fully dry. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull this one out. See what she, ooh, we got a cute little shine going on. Oh my gosh, I wanna pull it apart. So, okay, we're just gonna pull this one apart so we can see. Look at how much it's shrinking. My hair actually feels really smooth. Like I feel like I could maybe run my fingers through it and it'd be cute. Oh my gosh, excited. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm just gonna pin that with a bobby pin and hope for the best. That's like, I've never done this before, but I absolutely refuse to sleep with these rollers in. So this is what we're gonna do. And you know, I hope that this is gonna be okay. Yeah, see? And then we'll throw on a little bonnet and we should be fine. Ooh, that actually works better. Okay, hold on. I found out a better way to pin this. Don't pin it on the top. Ooh. Pin it on the bottom. Like so. Yes, that feels a lot more secure. One thing I am noticing is like, you see that little crimp? That's from this clip thing. I mean, you live and you learn, right? Can I just say that this is so much more time and effort than a wash and go? That's why I'll forever be a wash and go stan. Forever and ever, amen. But I'll stop complaining because it is fun to switch it up every once in a while. <laughs> I cannot FaceTime with George tonight. It's gonna be really fun because he is going to have my neck with the jokes. So I have this bonnet. I think I'm gonna wear this to bed tonight even though I have a satin pillowcase. Boom, so that's it for tonight. This is how I'm going to bed. I will meet y'all in the morning tomorrow for glam time. I'm really, really hoping this comes out cute. We feel a vibe. Part of me is feeling like I don't know if this is gonna be like my style, but again, this is the whole point of hairstyle experimentations. We learn as we go. So I will catch y'all tomorrow for the fun. Good morning. I am nervous. I, I don't know y'all, this might be a fail. Um, we can clearly see what side I slept on, which is this, it's nice and flat. <laughs> Uh, this one is kind of unraveling on its own a little bit. I just, I, I don't know. But we're gonna proceed and see how best we can finagle this and make it look good. I don't know, maybe I'll feel different once it's fully unraveled. So before I actually start doing that, let me grab an oil for my hair. So my favorite is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. Y'all know I don't really use oils like that, but this is literally the one that I just keep around for situations like this. So I'm just gonna apply like a couple of drops, rub it in, and this way it'll help us to avoid as much frizz as possible. I'm just ready to get this over with. I just want to hurry up and see what this is gonna look like. My hair feels really good. It feels really smooth. That mousse, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get that mousse for a wash and go, for a refreshing, even for a roller set. I mean, even though I feel like I failed, um, my hair feels really good and it looks really good too. Like you see how it's shiny and stuff. It's just a bomb mousse. <sighs> I don't know what this is. This one didn't get like a good smooth to it. So some of my zigzaggy curls are up in there, but you know, like I said, just one at a time, we're gonna keep proceeding. 
and hope for the best. I already feel like I'm starting to look like somebody's mom. Like a, a organized mom too. She has their lunch packed from the night before. Like she's ready. She's a fashionista too. So she likes to do roller sets, you know? Like this hairstyle is giving a whole personality. <laughs> Yo, I did not wrap this one very well. The curls are still in there. I am embarrassed. I'm actually embarrassed by the way this came out. Um, <laughs> what do I look like right now? Are you kidding me? What is this? This is why I don't do flexi rods or roller sets like ever because where to go from here y'all I do not know where to go do I just finesse this put it in a half up half down and call it a day or do I grab a like a blow-dry brush and just blow it out and see what that looks like or do I like what do I do cuz this it cannot stay like this this is so ugly <laughs> I see the vision of it but it's just not giving. The curls look crazy. And I guess now I realize that's why nobody really does roller sets like that on natural hair. They stick with the flexi rods because I never had this issue with my flexi rods. Um, Y'all, I hate this so much. Also, like, because like, what is this? <laughs> It would have been a lot easier to roll had I decided to blow dry in the first place, for sure. Then we probably have more of a looser wave type situation going on. Let me just go look at the blowout brush that I have. I'm just gonna go look at it. So Amika had sent me this two-in-one blow dryer and straightening brush. The fact that it says that it's also straightening brush really scares me okay so for just a blow dry we can just do air or if we want my hair to be like more straightened which very much scares me then we would do the thermal brush or we can do both to get a blow dry and straighten like crisp I'm scared <laughs> besides the Rev Air and the Dyson I like I haven't used any other form of heat tool in my hair so this does make me a little nervous. All right, let's just test out the thing. I'm just gonna keep it on the lowest setting and we're just gonna start with this one little section and see how that goes. I think it's worse. <laughs> I decided to take it out and brush my hair out to see if all of it was brushed out, if it would look better. Clearly not. This is it. I, like, I cannot anymore. I refuse to spend any more time on my hair. This is a fail, 100%. There's no fixing it anymore at this point. This is just it, and that's just what it's gonna be. And will I be doing another roller set anytime soon? Absolutely not, unless y'all really wanna see me try it on blown out hair first. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If I get enough comments, then we'll do it. The perfectionist in me and like the fact that I hate wasted time and I feel like I wasted so much time for my hair to look like... <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> we learned some things today. You know what? It is what it is. This is what happens when you experiment with hairstyles. Um, I do think it would probably been a lot more successful had I started on a blowout. So let me know if y'all will actually be interested in seeing me try the roller set again, or also let me know if there are other hairstyle recommendations that you want me to try next. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this failable video, watching me fail at a roller set slash blowout slash whatever the hell we ended up here with. Um, I hope I was able to add a little entertainment to your day. I am gonna meet y'all over at the next video because we gotta redeem ourselves, okay? <laughs> Bye y'all.